last playoff position with just seven wins so far this season. Tonight, they'll be looking to strong goaltending from number 21, Scott O'Connor. Some players to watch. Number two, John Kidd. He's deceptive, but he can make the great play when it counts. Jim Ryan is number three. Warren Ross, number four, one of the only English players to play in Scotland. Number five, Alistair Reed. Number six, Kenny Wells. Number seven, Jim Daly. Number eight, John Gibson. And number nine, that leads me to one of the top imports in the country, Frank Morris, with 31 goals and 20 assists. Steve Andrews, number 10. And we go on to Tommy Searle, another excellent import. Look for him. He'll be staying on the ice a lot of the time. Grant Slater, number 17. He's been around the Scottish ice hockey scene. Gary Smith, 19. And, of course, number 20, Keith Gretzky, with that International Ice Hockey League and American Hockey League experience behind him. Well, at the other end of the rink, the Murrayfield Racers, under the direction of Coach Leo Koopman, are having a good season so far. They've got excellent goaltending in Martin Mackay, number 35, and 29, Moray Hansen. A good defenseman in Steve Moore, number two, a solid Canadian. Youngsters coming up, number three, Richard Lamb, and four, Scott Archibald. A famous name in Scottish ice hockey, number five, Les Lovell. Keep your eye on number seven, Brian McKee. He has 26 goals. Scott Neal, number eight, and Tony Hand, two of the best British players in the game. And, of course, Jim Mullard, number 23, and Chris Kellen, number 21, will be playing up front. They can put the puck in the net. A great game in store. Well, the official for today's game is Ken Taggart, an American. And he's been on the ice hockey scene for a long time. The Murrayfield Racers will be playing from right to left in their familiar red, white, and blue jerseys. And the puck goes right to Reed, tip back. Kellen and, of course, McKee. Kellen playing up on the wing. That's a strange position from him. He was a strong defender. Mullard now. Mullard coming up on the right wing. Still Mullard. Breaking in. Into the slot area. Trying to get in. It's right out front. Right in front of the net. Another first shot from Stevie Combe. Took a deflection. And the first good chance going there to the Murrayfield Racers. And they come out flying here in the initial stages of this opening period. Well, an excellent crowd here in Glasgow. A lot of uh, spectators coming to see Gretzky, of course, but uh, a lot coming to see Premier Division hockey. They don't get that many opportunities. The shot by Muller just wide of the target. Another shot coming from Steve Moore. Pushed down the ice. Slater doing a grabbing. And the crowd rising to the occasion. And we're going to have a penalty on the play going against the Air Raiders for holding. Grant Slater was holding all the way down the ice, so the Murrayfield Racers will have a power play situation here. Referee Ken Taggart, no doubt in his mind about that call. So number 17, Grant Slater steps into the penalty box for two minutes. Gretzky wins the draw. And... That first line has been out there for over two minutes now. Most teams like to change their lines after 30, 45 seconds. But they're going with the same players as Mullard comes down. Mullard getting by Morris. Mullard passing it over to the corner. It's back to Mullard. He's with Brian McKee. And that's in the net. So a power play goal. Mullard once again did a lot of work. Let's take a look at this again. Muller behind the net. Gets it right out front. And that's powered right behind the goaltender. So there's confirmation of the score line. The Murrayfield Racers won. Air Raiders nil here. Coach Rocky sagging up for Air leaving his number one line out there. In an attempt to do something against the second line for Murrayfield, but they're just as strong as the first. The shot steered away to the corner. Came from Brian McKee, not a difficult one. Kid putting that one up. Air coming up now. Gibson, he can't get to it. Tony Hand against Reed. Oh, nice move as he gets by him. Hand going in on goal, and that's wide of the target. Goaltender Scott O'Connor stayed with him, and they're starting to mix it up behind the net. Tony Hand. 
Tommy Searle, and both are tough characters. Taggart is having none of that as he backs towards the penalty box. What a great move by Tony Han here to get around uh, number five, Alistair Reed. He goes in on the goalter, goaltender, tries to pull him out of position. A great move by the goalie, forces him to shoot wide. Searle flips it in. Morris is back in the point with Searle. Mullard shadows. Well, it's uh, there's going to be a penalty. Interference is the call right in front of the net. Taggart jumping right on these calls. Let's take a look at this again. There's the push there and the retaliation from John Kidd mixing it up with Brian McKee and they're both heading towards the penalty box. Yeah, both of them. Number seven for Murrayfield. Number two for Ayer. Morris now, so the shot steered away nicely. Slater getting it back behind the net. Slater couldn't get the handle on that as Tony Hand came up with it. Shoots it down the ice and Searle goes back for it. So the Raiders with the man advantage. Racers, two men in the penalty box. Steve Moore. Losing it out, Morris wants it, drops back to Searle, takes a shot, wide of the target. Number 12, Tommy Searle letting go of that slap shot. Gretzky, Gretzky's pass is intercepted, and the break is gonna be on here. Scott Neal got the pass from Tony Han, and he scores! Scott Neal stepped on the ice, got a lovely pass from Tony Han, who's playing heads up hockey after he wrapped that from Gretzky, and look at this. Coming down on O'Connor, takes his time, goes around the goalie and backhands it into the open net. Once again, a good pass from Tony Hand. Scott Neal can't believe his luck. He's by uh, Morris here, goes in and it makes it look so easy. 2-0 the score, still in the first period here. Air with four men forward now. Reed, a good move by him. Reed pushes that one forward and Warren Ross goes after it. Steve Moore gets to it first. Tony Han is back there. We have three Murrayfield racers in that corner. Reed takes a weak shot wide of the target. Kidd has got it. Kidd, uh, one too many moves, one too many red shirts. Tony Hand. he's got Paul Pentland on the far side. Jockey right in front of the net to Paul Pentland and he shot it over the top of the net. Mullard falls and the Raiders dump it all the way down the ice. Brian McKee touches it and we'll have another icing call. And for those of you who may be watching for the first time, icing is when the puck is shot from your side of the center line all the way down the ice without touching anyone. You can, of course, ice the puck when you're a man short through penalty. But uh, if you shoot the puck all the way down the ice, they penalize you by blowing the whistle and bringing it back into your end. Morris to the far side. Murrayfield putting on some good pressure here, forechecking. Oh, a dangerous move as that was passed right in front of the net. Air now. Morris to Gretzky. Gretzky to Morris. It trickles right across. Searle's going to wind up, takes a shot. And a good move by the goaltender. And that's in the net. Well, he made the initial save. He came way out. But the rebound, not a difficult shot. Goes in the back of the net. Let's take a look at this again. The first shot, a good save by the goalie. The backhand shot there takes a slight deflection, and that's beyond the goaltender. 6.43 remaining here in the first period. 2-1 the score. Neil picking up both the goals for the racers. Gretzky replying for the Raiders. Ryan getting it over, back to Ryan. Gibson head manning the puck to Daly. Daly goes after it, Mackay gets to it first. Ryan dumps it back in. Kidd is out there. It's a fairly inexperienced line when you compare it to the racers. And Scott Neal, Jock Hay, 
and Tony Hand. They should be walking all over the Raiders. But the Raiders are playing some aggressive hockey with the youngsters. Now McKee. McKee working his way in. Gets around Ryan. Right in front of the net. Oh, and a good save on Tony Hand by O'Connor. He slid across the net, came out to cut down the angle. Searle, who's seeing a lot of ice time, gets it over to John Kidd. Kidd back to Searle. Daly. Daly slowly down the side, runs into Brian McKee. Right in front, and that's in the net. John Kidd. And some sloppy defensive work allowed Kidd to cruise right in there. A good pass over by Daly. Some good work here by number seven. Watch this pass and watch Kidd squeeze in there behind the defense and get a little touch to get that puck by Martin McKay. The red light is on, 2-2 the score. John Kidd, so tall, so deceptive. A lot of guys don't think he's moving, but when he gets those legs going, he can move around just about anybody in the league. Kellen wants it in front. That takes a deflection, and eventually he's pushed away by Scott O'Connor. It's right in front of the net. And Air are going to have to tighten up, and we're going to have a penalty as Morris is brought to the ice. And we got a fight at the other end of the rink. Mullard squaring off. And the fists are flying. Mullard is right in there. Taggart is watching this one. And now the officials move in. And that's one of their jobs. One of the more unenviable tasks of the linesmen to get in between the... Uh, players when they're fighting and you can hear Taggart now telling them to break it up so Grant Slater going against big number 23 Jimmy Mollard the Canadian well Mollard gets a five plus four and Slater gets two plus two for four so this uh, penalty situation will definitely fa favor uh, air when they get round to the uh, the time when uh, Slater steps on the ice Gibson comes up with the puck some good forechecking he's got Reed out there Reed getting it over Warren Ross squeezed out of the play nicely by Paul Pentland and it's given to Chris Kellen Kellen Going up on a sharp angle, takes a shot, and uh, O'Connor got a piece of that. Jock Hay now in the corner. Jock Hay taken out of the play by John Kidd. Reed. Reed really didn't look at that. Not a good clearance by him. Moore gets it over. Pentland has all the time in the world, and he scores! Well, a bad clearance by Reed led to that pass eventually to Pentland. It wasn't a difficult shot, but I don't think the goalie saw it. Let's look at this again. All the way back at the point. Pentland has all the time in the world there. Tees it up. Let's take a look at this. Right underneath the goaltender. Three to two, the score now here. Still yep. in the first period. Murrayfield in the lead. Tony Hand to Scott Neal. Pushing it all the way around. No one there. And Warren Ross, number four, comes up with the puck. Ross. We're into the last minute of play here in the first period. Tony Han intercepts that. Tony Han brings his man down. Tiger keeps his hands down on that. Morris taking a bit of a roughing there. Searle. 35 seconds in the period. Gretzky on the right wing pushes that one in for Slater. Kellen. Kellen being shadowed by Searle and Gretzky. Tony Hand is in the slot area. Oh, a lovely pass. McKee's got it right in front. And that's in the net. That was beautiful. An excellent goal from Tony Hand. A great pass from Brian McKee. Well, this is thinking man's hockey. 
Tony Hand cruising in front of the net. Number seven comes over, Brian McKee. He sees Tony Hand here. Watch this one-timer, a change of direction. The goalie hasn't got a chance. Four to two, the score here. And the teams are leaving the ice now. So at the end of the first period, it's the Murrayfield Racers four, the Air Raiders two. Well, it's been a close first period, four to two, the score. Neil started off with two goals. Gretzky came back. But for me, one of the highlights is Kidd's goal. He did a lot of work to get behind the defenseman. You can see Daly, number seven, Jim Daly, just cruising down that wing. He gets by the defenseman here. I think, you know, not some, not great checking there. He should have taken him out of the play. The pass right on the button, and Kidd gets his stick on it to put it behind Martin Mackay. A lovely goal to make it two goals for Air Raiders. For the Murrayfield Racers, that last goal, his 501st goal by Tony Han has to be another highlight of the period. Tony Han always aware of what's going on out there. You can see he waits until the man with the puck gets over the line. He straddles the blue line and then goes right for the goal, cruises in there. Now watch this, a good play by number seven, Brian McKee. He waits for the defenseman to commit himself. Now Tony Han wants it and just changes direction. The goaltender has no chance at all as the red light goes on. So we get set to start the second period. Murrayfield four, air two, and there's number 23, Jim Mullard, sitting it out for 353. He was involved in that fight with uh, Grant Slater, got nine minutes in penalties, five plus two plus two, and so for just under four minutes, the Air Raiders will have a chance to bring themselves back into the game. Dumped all the way down the ice. Alistair Reed leaving it. Frank Morris now. Morris. The shot wide of the target. Gretzky picks it up. Gretzky pushing that one into the corner. Gretzky wants it. It'll take a lot of time to get it to him. Searle's back at the point. Gretzky pushes it into the corner. The racers doing a good job of uh, setting up that box. Searle does a great job of keeping it in. Push behind the net. Morris. Searle takes the shot right on the target. Gretzky got a stick to it, and it took a deflection over the boards, and so we'll have a face-off. Searle had that one right, headed for the goal. Let's take a look at this again. A slap shot, he keeps it low, the deflection goes right up over the boards. Center, Mullard, one hand on it, Neil trying to squeeze that one in there. Neil and Mullard teaming up. Moore back at the point with McKee. Oh, good interception there by Searle, who's seeing a lot of ice time. Morris taken out of the play nicely by Moore. Some good defensive work by the Murrayfield Racers. They're happy with their defensive setup, so happy that they can put Chris Kellen up front. Reed trying to hold that one against the boards to kill off this penalty. Right in front. And the Raiders are back to full strength. The key takes a shot. Oh, and a great save. And they're saying that he caught that inside the net. Mullard is saying that that puck went in and he caught it beyond the line. The whistle is gone. The red light didn't go on behind the net. Let's take a look at this again. Tony Hand gets it back. Now this shot is right on the goal. Did it go over the goal line? Did the goalie catch it inside the net? You can be the judge. Pretty close. Still kept in. Raiders now on the attack. Tony Hand, not a particularly good pass from him. Slater taken off the puck by Tony Hand as he steals it back. Hand has got two guys with him. A lovely pass to Scott Neal. Oh, and a great save by O'Connor. Brian McKee losing out in the corner. Some good forechecking here by Murrayfield. Gretzky, Gretzky looking for that return pass from Slater that just didn't come. Tony Hand. Jock Hay can't get a handle on that. And Searle 
and just push that one in right on the target. A bouncing shot, and Mackay had to come up with a save. Hand. Getting it to Scott Neal, the rebound. A difficult shot for uh, Scott O'Connor to bat down. Came in from a close angle and got him up in the chest. Well, a bit of indecision there by number seven, Brian McKee. Perhaps wanting a face off to take a well deserved breather. All right, let's go. Hang on to him next time. Gretzky to Searle, Searle quick on the shot, out to hit a skate, bounce in the corner, Gretzky now trying to get it out front, and they're taking it out, and there goes the fist! Steve Moore throwing the punches first, and you can see this was bound to happen. They've been having a go at each other, Searle is yelling something. Steve Moore, number two, got a couple of good swings before the officials got in there. Let's take a look at this again. Moore goes in there, does a lot of body work along the boards, and he's gonna get a penalty. Eventually turns around, gets the left, gets the right. And this is going against Morris. Slater joins the uh, fight and is picked off by Coombe, tries to hold him back as Mollard gets a piece of the action too. Well, it may take a while to sort this one out. Ken came in and hammered him that started it. He got two for us. Frank Morris looking for goal number 32. A long pass to Searle, pushed into the far corner. Slater lets it go to Gretzky. Right in front to Morris. Morris has got Reed. Reed, chance for a shot. The rebound right in front. And Slater pushed out of the play as McKay came up with the uh, save. And there's the, the boys in the penalty box. Two minute penalty for Coombe. And four minutes. Mollard goes in to poke check against Gretzky. Gretzky comes up with him, gets it back. Searle winds up, takes a shot. Deflection, steers that one into the corner. Reed pushes it right on the goal. And Mollard fires that one down the ice. Approaching the eight-minute mark here in the second period. Morris. Morris has Gretzky back at the point. Searle now. John Kidd. Reed. Reed's got a chance to let go of the shot. He lets go a weak one and hits the defenseman's skate. And that's pushed all the way down as number 10, Stevie Cole, comes back on the ice and forces O'Connor to call for a face-off. One forty-five remaining on the penalty to number two, Steve Moore. He picked up a two plus two. Just under eight minutes remaining here Let's in the second period. The Raiders not making the most of the two-man advantage. What can they do with one-man advantage here? Morris getting it back. Gibson, the shot is scored! Well, they lost it. Scott Neal doing some great work, picks up his hat trick. It was getting sloppy. Let's take a look at this again. Gibson got the return pass. He turns, the pass comes over right on the stick, and it was so easy for Scott Neal. Searle was there waiting for it, but it just didn't come that far. Five to two the score. Some of these younger players not taking the time to look and see what's really going on out there. Rost. Rost pushes that one around behind the net. But you can see the racers getting back. Every player is back. No one is at the point, guarding the point. Everyone's around the net. 
Rocky Sagan up, the coach may want to use the points a bit more. They're wide open, that shot coming from Daly right in front and eventually Scott Neal comes up with the loose puck, shoots it out into the center ice zone. Reed fires it back in off Pentland's shoulder. Tony Hand. Tony Hand being tied up by Smith. Moore. A rink-wide pass. No one there to pick it up. Alistair Reed for air. Reed looking for Daly. Daly. Oh, a bad pass. Gives it right to Tony Hand. Over to Scott Neal back. And that's in the net. Oh, it went from Tony Hand to Scott Neal to Jock Hay back to Scott Neal and they put it in made it look so easy so professional a lovely goal watch the teamwork here watch the play between players a bad pass set this one up over to Jockey gets it back and Scott Neal makes it four for him Gretzky was held from behind couldn't get the handle on that one Kellen pushes it back Tommy Searle bounced over his second stick and Kellen comes up with it. Eventually Searle gets it back and pushes it forward. Morris wants it. Morris has got it on the wing. Putting it into the corner, right in front of the net, the shot. And they score, Tommy Searle was there. Number 12 was perfectly positioned. He moved in from the point, picked up that pass, and that makes it six to three. Gretzky from the faceoff, a bouncing puck that Cyril can't control. Tony Hand's got a couple of seconds to take a shot. He doesn't get the shot away. And there goes the whistle to end the second period. Scott Neal picked up a couple of goals. Cyril replied for Air Raiders. The score at the end of the second period, Murrayfield Racers six, the Air Raiders three. So we start the third and final period. The racers in the lead, six to three, playing from right to left. And Rocky Saganek, the coach of the Air Raiders, really has got to uh, get his team to do some forechecking, do some back checking, and watch where they're passing that puck. They're giving a lot of goals away. And this game, far from over. Hastings tipping that one in the corner. Jimmy Mallard and Searle call for the faceoff. The officials bringing this one outside the blue line as the Murrayfield team held it against the boards for the faceoff. Coming down is Slater. Morris now takes a shot to the far side. And that was right on the target. Mackay got a piece of it. Cyril battered it back in. <laughs> Steve Moore. Jimmy Mullard. Oh, intercepted nicely by Gretzky. Slater's got a chance. The shot. Oh, and that trickled right down to the line. They turn around, take another shot. And that's in the net. Frank Morris was quick to respond there. And the Air Raiders have come out fighting. Let's take a look at this again. Slater takes the shot. It gets by the goaltender. Eventually, they poke it off the line, but watch Morris. The goaltender's down, and Morris puts this one right upstairs. And really, Martin McCoy doesn't have a chance. 6-4 now. The Raiders are coming back. Long pass intercepted nicely at the blue line by Morris. That takes a deflection off Kellen and goes down the ice. Pentland, Steve Moore. Along the boards, Reed comes up with it. Reed has got Searle. Back to Reed. Reed to Morris. Gretzky now on the right wing. Gretzky back to Morris. Oh, a bit of a giveaway there as he was taken out of the play. It's a two-on-one break. 
coming down. There's Mullard ready for the drop pass right in front is Kellen. And that one eventually kicked away into the corner. The goaltender stacked his pads, slid across the net, came up with a save, and that was batted away. You can see the reaction there from number 12, Tom Searle. Let's take a look at this again. Right out front, Kellen waiting for the pass. Eventually it comes, he gets it on the backhand side, and the save pushes that one into the corner. Oh, right in front, Tony Hand takes a shot, he scores! Left all alone, well you can't leave this guy alone in front of the net. That's his second goal of the game, and his 502nd goal in British ice hockey. And even the youngsters are getting involved in the appreciation of that goal. Let's look at this again, Gretzky taken out, the pass comes right through. Han is left all alone. Where are the defensemen leaving before the play is even resolved? And the goaltender is beaten. 7 to 4 now. Murrayfield extending their lead once again. Gibson getting it back to the fence. Reed eventually comes up with it. Reed flips that up on the wing to Daly. Gibson can't control it. Whitelaw, a nice little pass to Tony Han. Han has got Hay. And Hay has dropped to the ice. The key takes a weak shot. It ends up as a pass to Scott Neal. Jock Hay takes one. That's in the net. Well, that trickled right under the goaltender. Perhaps he didn't see it. But I'm sure Jock Hay will just be happy to get himself on the scoreboard. Not a difficult shot, but it went right under the goaltender. And once again, this second line, if you want to call it that, for Murrayfield, does the damage out there. Tony Han working his way back to the point. Scott Neal's got it. Jock Hay is there. Now, not a difficult shot for O'Connor, but he mistimed it completely. Wells flips it in. Andrews, this time there's going to be a penalty, and it's going against uh, Air. The goaltender is off. They're putting on an extra attacker. As soon as Air touched the puck, the whistle will blow. So there's no fear of the puck going in the net. Tony Hand going down, getting around one man. Tony Hand working his way in. And O'Connor lost that completely. He had it between his pads. A great move by Tony Hand as he gives a little shrug there and says, well, I think I, I should have scored there. But nevertheless, they're going to have a power play situation. Some clever moves there by Murrayfield as they had possession of the puck. They pulled off their goaltender, threw on an extra attacker. See this again. The goaltender's off the ice. Tony Hand going around the defenseman. Working his way in on the backhand side. Another nice move. Takes the shot. Sees the opening, but O'Connor closes the pass just in the nick of time. So number 10, Steve Andrews going into the penalty box for tripping. Murrayfield with the power play. Scott Neal fanned on the shot. Right in the slot area. Scott Neal now getting it over. Hand back to Neal. Oh, and his shot went off Searle's stick. And they really are just being a bit too cute out there. Moore wants it. Back to the point. That shot takes a deflection and goes high. It bounces back behind the net. Ends up on the mesh. And we're going to have another face-off. Perhaps one too many passes coming from the likes of uh, Hand and Scott Neal. Back of the net, outside. It ended up in the back Bounce of the net, the says Taggart, net. so Come it's on, going outside. Go. 120 remaining in the penalty to Steve Andrews, number 10. Gretzky this time wins it. Gets it as far as Brian McKee. A long shot. Oh, just whistles by that far post as Mullard picks it up. Tony Hand. Mullard. Mullard going in. Mullard. Still Mullard. Scores! Oh, a lovely little move. He lost it for a moment. But eventually put it right on the ice. Into the far corner. 
a power play goal for Mullard. Brings it to nine to four. Mullard comes in, he had so many possibilities here. Scott Neal was waiting for it. He came in, cut across. You can see the goaltender has already committed himself. He's down on one knee and he hits the far side of the net. Gary Smith taken out of the play. John Kidd runs into uh, a combination of Murrayfield and uh, air players. Still, Murrayfield keeping it in as uh, Kidd gets it over to Reed. Searle. Searle getting it up on the wing. Searle wants it back. Oh, a good job there by Moore to get a skate to push that into the corner. Kidd still fights with him right in front, and that's in the net. On the slow motion replay, you can see Smith right behind Pentland. Everybody else going for a skate. That bounces right over uh, Pentland's stick, and the goaltender can't get it either. They're running out of time, just a few seconds on the clock. Tony Han with two seconds. There goes the whistle to end the third and final period. And there's the final score, Murrayfield 9, Air 5. An excellent performance from Murrayfield. Scott Neal started it off with two goals, Pentland and then Tony Hand. And in the second period, it was all Scott Neal once again with two more goals. He picked up four at the final whistle here. Tony Hand came back and got another one in the third. Jock Hay got that soft one. And then Mullard doing all the work with a final goal to make it nine. Gretzky, Kidd, Searle, Morris, and Smith replied for their Raiders, but it wasn't enough. And it's nice to see that no matter how physical, no matter how rough it was out there, when the final whistle goes, they still shake hands at the end of the contest. So as we look at the man of the match, the final score, Murrayfield Racers, nine, the Air Raiders, five. Scott Neal, congratulations, man of the match. Four goals in margin and four goals you scored yourself. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. But I get a lot of help from Tony Hand and my other partner, Jockey. We're working well as a line right now and things are going well for us. Do you think you wanted the points more than Air Raiders? Well, we're playing catch up in the league. We've got a good chance of winning it. And I think Air, are, Air already know their position in the league. They know they, they can't win it now. And uh, we're, we're really having to try hard to catch Cardiff. And that, that's what's keeping the team going together. Simon Walton talking to a delighted, if exhausted, Scott Neal. 